touching all kinds of paper And I ain't never gonna give a fuck about a hater Cause I know, I know I got soul, baby Baby, baby You already know what it is, this is Patai, God King TV We back at it with some more game, a little bit more knowledge A little bit more motherfucking shit to talk about Now check this out Everybody's been hitting me up still because you got people who got a problem with edging. You got people who got a problem with relapsing so much. So I wanted to talk a little bit about this relapse shit. And I want to let you know why you keep relapsing. One, I want to just say this off the rip. This is the preface for everything I'm about to say. You keep relapsing because you relapse in your mind first. Before you even bust off and join the Squirtle Gang, nigga, you relapsed in your mind. You made a conscious sub subconscious decision that you were going to motherfucking bust off, nigga, because you feel like there was no other way. You got to understand two things, man, when you're dealing with this no fap shit. One, if you relapse in your mind first, then you have no type of defense against your biological urges. Two, you got to have an understanding on what it means for you to be able to withstand your biological urges and to get through a certain level of discernment when it comes to when and where you're going to utilize the sexual energy. Now, a lot of people who understand from watching my videos off top, you understand this. Your sexual energy, creative energy, and spiritual energy are all one and the same. So I want you to always remember this. Now, why is that important? It's important because when you get to feeling these sexual urges, you got to train your mind to say, hey, I'm going to this fuck but I'm not going to bust off. I'm going to do something creative with this shit. I'm going to do something that's going to benefit me either today, tomorrow, or down the line. I'm not going to give up this energy because this energy can attract abundance to me. This energy can help me get through a creative period where I may have had a, a roadblock in my mind. You know, on a creative block, you may have found a way where you was like, damn, I can't get past this. I can't write I can't come up with this song. I can't utilize this creative energy for something. Now that you're horny, now you can sit there and put all that energy into that, nigga. The same amount of time it will take your ass to get to page 55 on Pornhub because you can't find nothing to satisfy your ass no more because your ass been perpetually pleasure chasing all goddamn day, nigga. Now you can utilize this and create something, right? Now, understand this. When it comes to relapsing, you got to have willpower. You got to have willpower. What this tells me is this, and a lot of people may not like it, but this is what it tells me. When you keep on relapsing, nigga, and you can't go past a week or two, and, and you know, I'm, I don't never beat nobody down. I'm not here to beat you down. I'm not telling you, you know, that you're that you, <laughs> that you a pussy-ass nigga because you can't get past a week without busting a goddamn nut, nigga. But what I am saying is this. You lack willpower. You lack discipline. And this goes for whether you are with a woman or uh, you living with your girlfriend or you by yourself. But this definitely go for the niggas that's by your goddamn self. Let me tell you, man. If you ain't got no girlfriend around you or your girlfriend out of town like mine is, nigga, you ain't got no motherfucking excuse for why your ass can't go a week, two weeks, three weeks, nigga, four weeks, nigga, without busting a nut. Now, if you're new to this shit, I would say this, you know, keep fighting. But I will say this, man, back even when I started this shit, man, I started this years ago, right? But my first, my first time saying, okay, I'm not going to bust no more nuts. And I'm talking about uh, consciously making a decision. I'm not talking, like when I, when I got locked up a couple times, I had to go against my will. And I was like, man, I ain't busting nuts in hell. I'm going to fuck. And I'll go however long I was locked up for. You know what I'm saying? But I'm talking about consciously out in the free world. My first time when I consciously made the decision to go on this path, I think the first time I went 20 days, just the first time off the rip. But you got guys who can't even go, you know, a week off the rip. I'm talking about off the rip. I just went 20 days. You got niggas out here who can't go three, four days or go past a week. And all I'm telling you is that it takes willpower. And when I did it the first time, the only reason why I went 20 days is because when I went with my, I went to go see my girlfriend. And I already had a schedule to go see her. So when I went to go see her, I was already like 20-something days in. But if I wasn't going to go see her, I would have been gone long as I had to go. Just because a nigga got willpower, man. You know, uh, one thing I do want to say, and this is a side note, but, you know, I haven't I haven't vaped in almost two months now. And, you know, people used to ask me, like, yo, Bataille, when you going to stop vaping? Yo, why you vaping? Blah, blah, blah. And I used to tell niggas, like, yo, I vape because I want to. 
And I stop when I want to because I can stop any goddamn time I want to because I know me and I know myself and I know I got willpower. And I know everybody ain't got the same type of willpower, but that only reason why I brought this up is because I want to let motherfuckers know that for those who do smoke or whoever, right, uh, nicotine is a substance, right? So a lot of the times it's a chemical that it's hard for people to get off a certain type of chemical addiction. But speaking of a sexual addiction, they're, to me, they're, they're one and the same thing because it's all based on habit. And it's all based on habit. So I quit cold turkey, nigga. I don't need no patches, nothing. That, nigga, I quit everything cold turkey. I can quit shit cold turkey and I can jump on something very, very, very quick. You know, um, I credit that to knowing that, you know, for those who know astrology, man, I got Saturn and Scorpio and uh, Pluto and Scorpio in my third house. So my ability to stop things are very, uh, very strong, man. It's nothing to me. I quit cold turkey, nigga. So it's mind over matter, man. Even when it comes to a chemical or substance like tobacco, to me, your sexual urges and the sexual mysteries are to be able to have a defined line that you can be able to cross. Everybody can't cross this line yet. That line that you want to be able to cross is man and beast. Your lower nature is your beastly nature, which is nothing wrong with it, but it, it serves a purpose. It serves a primal purpose, but you have to be able to get out of that. You have to be able to get out of that at some point in time. The reason why a lot of y'all are drawn towards dealing with no fap now is you have to understand something. A lot of you have been on this perpetual pleasure chasing horse for a long time, and you realize that that one hit, that one more hit, ooh, just one more nut, oh, then I'll be satisfied. Now your ass onto the weirdest shit that you, <laughs> that you could ever find, nigga, dealing with on Pornhub or whatever sites you on because the shit that used to be vanilla to you don't do it for you no more. So you got to understand that this addiction is very dopamine, you know, triggered. Like you're in a space where you want to catch that next high. You want that high to be like the next one, but you got to think about it. Whatever is your favorite food, right? Whatever's your favorite food, Imagine if you had that every day. You know what I'm saying? Imagine if you had that shit every day, nigga, and you try to motherfucking go on your 300th day, nigga, eating this shit. It now becomes redundant and mundane to the point where you be like, look, nigga, I'll kill for some McDonald's right now, nigga. Anything that tastes better than this, nigga. Anything. But you know why? It's because you put yourself in a space where you cannot allow yourself to be stimulated orgasmically organically you see what i'm saying very natural let it be natural what you're dealing with is very unnatural and you got to notice this is why understanding is the other key to dealing with why you keep relapsing you will stop relapsing once you understand what's going on around you now nobody's perfect but what i'm saying is that you want to be able to put a halt to a behavior that's not conducive to you growing and you got to know that man you got to know that, nigga, we live in a motherfucking hypersexualized society. You got to know that sex is bombarding you everywhere you look, nigga. Bad bitches on Instagram all day showing ass cheeks, nigga. Think about it, nigga. Back when we was in 7th, 8th grade, nigga, you had to fucking beg a bitch to motherfucking send you pictures that you see on Instagram right now, nigga, on a regular, nigga. A bitch will start showing you the pictures that you had to beg for just so she can get likes, nigga. Think about it. A bitch will show you shit now just so she can get your attention on Instagram for people who don't even know her. But the bitch in your school, you was like, look, I want to take you to this fall dance. Just send me a picture of you and your panties. And the bitch wanted to do it, nigga. You gotta, you gotta, gotta be my girl. You gotta be my boyfriend for me to do things like that. Then you had to break an arm and leg to get them type of pictures you can get now on Instagram, nigga, for free. From a girl who don't even know you, nigga. She don't care, nigga. She just said, thumb it up, nigga. Thumb it up, nigga. Hit me with the double tap, nigga. The hearts. So you got to understand, we live in a different society. This ain't the same world we grew up in. And you got to understand, man, when you started getting introduced to the world of porn or whatever the fuck that got you to this space where you can't goddamn keep your, your, your goddamn shit in your pants and you can't keep your vitality in your body, you will realize that this was designed, this was designed for that. This was designed for you to be able to give up your creative energy. Give up your ability to allow yourself to be triggered and having a bond by a woman, a real life woman. Now you're triggered to the point where you got motherfucking niggas out here who would rather fuck their hand in a digital bitch who don't talk back to them, who don't say nothing than to deal with a regular woman. You see what I'm saying? There's a deep 
issue. And a lot of this is rooted to niggas having ED, a lot of uh, physical malfunctions going on within the body. And a lot of this is because the same people that are giving you the so-called quote-unquote medicine are the same ones that are causing you to have these issues. And they provide a supplement or a solution. So it's kind of like the same thing that the government does. They create the problem, they watch your reaction, and then they come with a solution. So you got to understand this is a big, 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 big motherfucking matrix, man. This is a big matrix. And um, until you can get to a space where you can understand what I'm saying, like, yo, your sexual energy is not to be motherfucking uh, deduced to just some some fucking frivolous nut, nigga, that come out your motherfucking goddamn sack, nigga. This is magic, nigga. This is motherfucking the golden elixir, nigga. This is the conduit between you being able to understand how to harness energy from the spiritual realm and to utilize it here in the physical. Now, you got to know that. You got to have understanding when you wonder why you keep on butts and nuts, nigga. You got to have understanding. You got to know that. You got to understand why you're doing it. And until you go on that journey to understand why you're doing it, you won't stop. You'll just find ways to keep on motherfucking making excuses. Like I said, it's the same way niggas inbox me all the time asking me about edging. Hey, can I edge? Can I edge? No, motherfucker, you're not ready to play with this energy. You ain't put enough work in to be ready to play with this motherfucking energy. You know what I'm saying? You got niggas asking me, uh, is it cool if they edge? Nigga, can you go 30 days without playing with your dick at all? Can you go 50 days, 60 days, 100 days? You know, and it's different levels, but can you at least go 30 days without playing with your dick, nigga, talking about some edging? You're looking for a reason, and you'll keep figuring it out that when you keep on trying to play with this energy, nigga, you're going to lose every time. You got niggas who think they can edge, nigga. Can you go 40 days, 60 days, 60 days without busting a nut first? No? Oh, you're trying to go a week, and you're trying to find a way to pacify this energy? It's not going to work that way. Your niggas ain't put enough work in, but... You know, I just wanted to drop a little game, man. You know, you already know what's up with me, man. Uh, this guy, King TV, I'm Patai. Salute. I'm going to stay touching all kinds of paper. And I ain't never going to give a fuck about a hater. Because I...